Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this here Late Late Show. Thanks for stopping by. On tonight's show, we'll be talking to Ben Platt, and then we also have a performance from Ben Platt. Look at that. Chat and a performance. Double decker. Wouldn't it be great if every guest who came on to chat had to do a performance? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Doesn't matter what they perform, they have to just do some sort of performance. Do you think? I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. Who would you want to see? I mean, Liza Minnelli. It'd be interesting to see her like actually yeah. perform instead of just talk all the time. For sure. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if she's can perform. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Quite. Yeah. 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 Ian, who would you want to see? I'd like to see Tom Cruise. Of all the guests we've had. <laughs> yeah. Just because I don't know that it would be good. <laughs> But it would be amazing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You mean singing a song? Singing a song. Yeah, it would be incredible. Yeah. Not even a no joke about he it. He would train for six years. Yeah. He would, yeah. yeah. No joke, no, no messing. He'd do, he, he would 100 percent He'd be here overnight with the crew, with the band, working out how to do the song. He'd do like Mustang Sally or something, and it would be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> There'd be some like agent, like he's got a heart out. He'd be like, hey! Yeah. Hey. We get it right. We're staying until it's done. Yeah. Yeah. And but that's like, it. That's it, the ethic. It'd be scary, but it'd be positive. And you'd that's be like, That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. I think we should start this on Monday with President Obama. So what, well, what, start what with Obama? Get if him you're going to gonna chat, you got to perform. Yeah. See what he's got. Oh, you're bumped. And he will quake in his boots. <laughs> Obama will be like, I can't not be on the Late Late Show. <laughs> well, do you know what I'd like to see Obama do? Play the spoons. Yeah. You know, the... He, he, he might be able to do it. It'd be great, because in the last eight years, the spoons have become so divisive. And, like, it'd be nice. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're, I, and I'm, I'm glad you've said it, because it's not something that's... You're going out on a limb there, because it is. If you get involved in a, in a spoon chat online, yep. you, you're done, you're finished. But you're right, the spoons, the yep. past eight years, have been, I would argue, the wedge that has driven down the line of America. <laughs> hey, you look like you're wearing some um, comfy athleisure wear there. Oh, my God. I am in a... I am right now head to toe in comfortable, breathable athleisure. And you'll never guess where I got it from. Go on. A little company called The Gap went ahead and sent it over. The Gap yeah. sent it to you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Come on. Don't clap that. Look. Look at this. He's head to toe. He's head to toe. Yeah. This isn't a problem, is it, Nick, to Don't, talk about this? Why did we clap that? <laughs> <laughs> why wouldn't we clap that? The guy's got free athleisure wear from I know. The Gap. I know how much money he makes. He doesn't need free anything. <laughs> <laughs> but hang on. Why is it an issue? Why is it an issue for someone to wear free Gap clothes and mention it on the show because they've sent it to us. You know what? I really enjoyed the spoon conversation. Can we go back to that? <laughs> what, you mean knocking the spoons? Yeah, what that if was I was great. knocking the spoons? Half <laughs> 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 leisure wear, baby. Because stand up, everyone who got sent a pair of Gap at Leisure Wear, baby. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's how you get your product placement. You don't need to, you don't need to buy millions of dollars worth of advertising across all networks. Just send it here to the show, and we're right back at it. And now back to the spoons, yeah, Nick? That's what you wanted to talk about, right? I think I've been doing this all wrong. What do you mean? What are you rich? <laughs> what have you been doing all wrong? Uh, you know, since this whole thing started, uh, I, I used to get, like, I'd go to LinkedIn every once in a while, and there'd be, like, 20 people looked at your LinkedIn profile. This week, 1,200 people have looked at my LinkedIn profile. That, that's... That's excellent news, because if we don't stop talking about products on air, he's going to need that LinkedIn attention. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but yeah. never with me, Nick. Why is this a problem? Why is it an issue? Because there are other companies who actually do put commercials in dirt right after this, well, right after we talk about this. We're not going to sit here, this. take it. I'm not going to do the show having taken a load of erectile dysfunction medication. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, 
Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to be on here like, going like, oh, let's start the show quickly, bang an Ozempic in. Like, you know. <laughs> but we'll, we, if they want to send a load of, you know, <laughs> Viagra no, or whatever, you know, give it a shot, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, we're a portal for other brands to remember, oh, CBS Late Night, that's where I should put my money. It if they yeah. do send the Viagra, I should say we should change out of the sweatpants. We shouldn't wear these sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> we should not wear these sweatpants. That's, that's true. Yeah. We, that, is, that is not a gap we want to fall into. No <laughs> way. No way. Yeah. No and, way. And the, and the thing about athleisure is that it doesn't have a very strong waistband, so you can't do the waistband trick either. Yeah, no, nothing. <laughs> But what if we, um, but like, I think this is going to open a whole world for the Gap. I think the Gap are going to be like, look at what we've got. They've actually, do you know what they've done? They, this has been a, a huge marketing ploy by them because this started as a whole Lululemon thing. And I think I speak for all of us and I say, Lulu who? What? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? I took off Lululemon to put this on. 100%. <laughs> and that Lululemon ain't going back on unless there's a, a bucket full arrives on Monday. <laughs> uh -huh. The Gap must buy ads with CBS, no? We've done a live commercial with The Gap before. Well, what's the difference now? A double live, baby, double live commercial. <laughs> <laughs> It only, it only works after they've paid us. <laughs> but, but we, we don't... But they, this is... I, I'll take this as payment. Yeah. Because these are, I swear to God, comfy as heck. I, I have them over a pair of work pants and they're still comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Look at me. I'm, have I haven't got holes in these, have I? No. Look at me. I'm, I've never felt so chilled. This could be me now. Yeah. Mm. Gucci up top, gap on the bottom. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I'm going to go home now. So, <laughs> no, Nick, come on. 1,200 views on the LinkedIn, I think, is pretty huge. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know what it means. Listen, I have to say something, sorry. I have to take over once more. This is the weirdest thing. I have a camera now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it is not even an operator, it's just static. <laughs> uh, I have to remind people, I am married. So, uh -huh. please, just... <laughs> Wow! Hi, Hang Poppy. on a minute. What do you mean? Where did this come from? This got came a little from heated CC. Home. It started with CC last night. CC, you got some messages about Nick, right? Yeah, my best friend in Virginia, Stephanie Taylor Creekmore, um, texted me over the weekend and said that she was in love with Nick Bernstein. I'm just putting it out there. Oh. <laughs> and love she's boat. recently divorced, right? She is recently divorced. Look at that, Nick. <laughs> oh, you're on a knife edge now. <laughs> And then I got home, and I was like, oh, this is what they did. And it happened, and my wife's like, why didn't you tell people that you were married when this happened? <laughs> and I thought, I, yeah, I really should have, and I am three times now. I'm very happily married, and thank you, everybody, for your very flattering everything that you've done on Twitter. I, do that, I think that's a lovely thing to do. I applaud that. I think it's a lovely thing to do. I do. I think it's a lovely... Yeah, you are. You're very happy. Very happy family. Very happy family, the Bernsteins, and not one of Cece's friends is going to draw a wedge between the two of you. I'll let them know. Yeah. <laughs> Cece's going to pass that on. You're married. That will, that will create a drop in the LinkedIn views, I think. <laughs> I'm willing. I'm willing to, take, uh, to accept that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else got anything else to share? Pete, are you good? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's your weekend plans? Uh, you know, uh, it's extended uh, momtivities for. Uh, we're going to take her out to a teppanyaki bar. So oh, nice! Fun. Yeah, yeah. She's That's like, the little. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, she's hell on catching the shrimp. So. Is that oh, when you catch it in your mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still to this day, the best thing we've ever done on this show. When Ian oh, Carmel caught yeah. that shrimp in his mouth, we should have stopped the show right then. <laughs> not McCartney, not anything. Just gone bang. That was it. That was the high point. As soon as he caught that shrimp, we should have all got in the car and gone home. Plus, I got to eat a shrimp, so... It's a win for everyone. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Ian, clip coming. Ian, you want a shrimp? I'm ready for it. Coming up! Oh, God. 
Ian, you want a shrimp? Hit me. Oh! One more. In the mouth. Ready? Ian, you want a shrimp? Yes. No! Oh, my God! Come on, come on. We could try that again 5,000 times. We'd never get that catch, right? Never, but I'd be up for trying. You for know. sure, yeah. 100%. Well, it's that time. It's time for the news. <laughs> it's, it's Thursday, man. We gotta change it up. <laughs> See how long you can do one, right? See how long you can keep one. No, no, See no. how long you can go on. Just give, try and give us the longest one we've got, all right? And it's time for... Right, well, that's a great catch-up, gang, but we can't put it off any longer. America's waiting. Nay, the world. It's time for the news. Yeah. Skills. Wow. Skill. <laughs> that wasn't even like a sting. That's like the opening credits of the news. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did that, Steve, because we've actually got some very good news to report. Because earlier today, the CDC announced that vaccinated people can stop wearing masks or maintaining social distance in most settings, indoor and outdoor. <laughs> you hear that, Pete? Masks off, fins up, baby. Oh, yeah, That's baby. the one. Yeah. That's it. With this new freedom, I honestly don't... I'm not prepared for it. I don't know where I'll draw the line. I think it's going to throw me off. I feel like I could just walk into a stranger's barbecue, take a burger off the grill and be like, don't worry, buddy, I'm vaxxed. Like, it's going to blur every line now. Nothing. I'm going to be sipping people's drinks at the bar. Let me try that. It's OK, I'm vaxxed. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, now that you don't have to have a mask outdoors or indoors, now you know if you still have trouble dating, it's your personality. <laughs> Do you think we're going to be OK with this, Ian? Do you think... I feel like we might need to ramp up. I feel like it came from nowhere. It was like, that's it, no mask. And now I'm like, whoa. I'm, don't, I'm diving right in. Are you? I'm jumping right in. I didn't what? grow this mustache for people to not see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you mean, like, next time you're in, like, Trader Joe's or Ralph's or, um, you know, Whole Foods or... Um, the Gap? The, the Gap. Sure, like a, like a... Starbucks or Blue Bottle Coffee or <laughs> Rag and Bone or... <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere they sell Cialis. Yeah. 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 Well, and we've got an update. We've got an update on the hacked oil pipeline that's been shut down for the past five days. It's been restarted, yes. and supplies should be back to normal shortly. So it's all over. I don't know about you. When I look back on these past couple of years, this is the crisis I'll remember. <laughs> now, that's it. The fuel's flowing. The go-go juice, the black gold. The, the, the Texas tea. <laughs> Mississippi apple juice. Subaru Sarsaparilla. <laughs> the old... petroleum. <laughs> yeah, what a mess. I'm no expert on any of this. I'm really not. And I know you think I am, I'm not. But I feel like... I feel like the biggest mistake in all of this was a lack of clear vision on how we could have better involved Vin Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if he'd been involved from the start of this, it would have lasted a day, two days tops. But apparently, and this is true, the pipeline company paid a ransom of nearly $5 million to the hackers, all of it in untraceable cryptocurrency. Damn. Yeah. Kind of amazing that they figured out how to transfer $5 million worth of cryptocurrency. Some oil company CEO had to have been like, I've got to download what app? <laughs> right? <laughs> OK, I've done that. Hang on, well, what's PancakeSwap? <laughs> why, why can't I just Venmo them the money? 
<laughs> the company paid the hackers nearly $5 million in cryptocurrency, which in NFT terms comes out to roughly one cat wearing a necktie. <laughs> <laughs> And did everybody see this? To encourage more citizens to get the vaccine, the state of Ohio will conduct a series of weekly lottery drawings to give $1 million each to five vaccinated adults. Yeah, now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Can you believe we all just got vaccinated for health reasons? <laughs> They're giving away a $1 million. So, for some Ohio citizens, side effects of the vaccine may include a minor fever, chills, and a phone call from your estranged father saying he was just thinking about you. <laughs> On top of all that, the state will also give away full-ride college scholarships to five vaccinated kids. Yeah, kids getting into college just because they have the winning ticket. And this time, the winning ticket isn't my mum is Laurie Laughlin. <laughs> and did everybody here about this. Motorola is working on developing smartphones that can charge wirelessly through the air. All you'd have to do is walk into the range of one of the charger's connections. Electricity in the air. Sounds like our studio right now. <laughs> a phone that can charge without being plugged in. Now, if only Motorola can create a phone that wirelessly through the air turns into an iPhone, they are onto a winner. <laughs> And finally, we wanted to show you this. In honour of the snack's 100th anniversary, Cheez-Its has introduced a special limited edition birthday cake that you can have delivered to your home. Here it is here. The cake features Cheez-Its flour, Cheez-Its shortbread, crumble, cheddar caramel and strawberry frosting. I think it's nice that you can eat crackers, caramel and frosting as part of a celebration instead of the usual reason because you're having a breakdown. <laughs> Each cake is made with an entire box of Cheez-Its. So now, for the first time in history, you can have your cake and Cheez-Its too. <laughs> we'll be right back with Ben Pat, everybody.